Ever remember when you first noticed the famous actress Yvonne De Carlo? Maybe it was a role that really stuck with you. Can you recall the first thing you saw her in? Share your memories or stories about this classic actor in the comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Keep watching for some interesting, surprising, and sad facts about the talented person we're talking about. Stay tuned for more insights into the life and career of this amazing artist. Born on September 1, 1922, in Vancouver, British Columbia, Canada, Yvonne DiCarlo had an interesting early life that paved the way for her successful acting career. Growing up in a middle-class family, her parents, William Middleton and Marie DiCarlo, provided a supportive environment that nurtured her love for performing. During her formative years, DiCarlo's interest in the arts flourished. Recognizing her talent, her mother enrolled her in dance and music classes, setting the stage for a remarkable journey in the entertainment industry. Moving to Los Angeles during her adolescence exposed her to the heart of the film and television world, opening doors to diverse influences and opportunities. DiCarlo's career was significantly influenced by her involvement in the local arts scene. A talent scout noticed her, leading to her first film contract with Paramount Pictures in the mid-1940s. This marked the beginning of her transformation from a young, aspiring artist to a celebrated actress. Her career faced challenges during its early stages, reflecting the struggles many actors encounter in Hollywood. Yet, DiCarlo's resilience and dedication to her craft propelled her forward. Her ability to portray a range of characters in various genres, from musicals to dramas, showcased her versatility. The influential figures she encountered, including mentors and fellow actors, played a crucial role in shaping her skills and perspectives. The collaborative nature of the film industry provided her with valuable experiences that contributed to her growth as an actress. Yvonne de Carlos' early life experiences, rooted in her family's support and fueled by her passion for the arts, set the stage for an extraordinary career in the entertainment industry. The journey from Vancouver to Hollywood not only marked her physical relocation, but symbolized the transition from an aspiring talent to a revered actress, leaving a lasting impact on the cinematic landscape. Yvonne DiCarlo, renowned for her diverse roles, took on the character of Aunt Rosa in the film Oscar, marking her final venture with a U.S. studio. Aunt Rosa's portrayal showcased her ability to bring depth to characters, leaving a lasting impression on the cinematic canvas. In McClintock, she played Louise Warren, the mother of Dev, portrayed by Patrick Wayne. John Wayne's reaction to her character's apparent youthfulness adds a layer of irony, considering she was actually 16 years older than Wayne's on-screen son. This subtle twist in age dynamics highlights her capability to go beyond age expectations and deliver convincing performances. An interesting fact comes from her role in The Ten Commandments, where, playing alongside Nina Fosh as her on-screen mother-in-law, she was two years and seven months older than Fosh. This fact adds a nuanced dimension to their on-screen relationship, showcasing her ability to embody characters authentically. Her career journey from Vancouver to Hollywood reflects the resilience and dedication that propelled her forward despite early challenges. The local arts scene in Los Angeles played a pivotal role, shaping her skills and opening doors to a film contract with Paramount Pictures in the mid-1940s. Her versatility across genres, from musicals to dramas, showcased her adaptability as an actress. The on-screen dynamics in Oscar McClintock and The Ten Commandments offer glimpses into her ability to bring authenticity and depth to roles. From portraying Aunt Rosa to Louise Warren, her performances went beyond expectations and left a lasting impression on the cinematic landscape. Maintaining a close friendship with Butch Patrick both during and after their time on The Munsters reflects Yvonne de Carlos' ability to build lasting connections in the entertainment industry. Their enduring bond mirrors the camaraderie developed during their collaborative work on the famous show. In her varied acting career, de Carlo demonstrated linguistic versatility by effortlessly adopting various accents, such as Austrian, Irish, English, Southern, and Arabic. Her roles required a range of linguistic skills, adding depth to her performances and showcasing her commitment to authenticity in portraying characters from different backgrounds. A surprising revelation in a 1975 interview brought a twist to DiCarlo's personal history. Contrary to public knowledge, her biological father was not William Middleton, but a man of Polynesian origin. This disclosure offered a glimpse into the complexities of her personal life, illustrating her openness about identity and family background. 
De Carlo's career, marked by lasting friendships, linguistic versatility, and candid revelations, further solidified her place in the entertainment industry. These aspects contribute to a nuanced understanding of her journey, highlighting her ability to navigate both personal and professional realms with authenticity. During the production of The Munsters, there were some initial tensions between Yvonne de Carlo and her co-stars Fred Gwynn and Al Lewis. However, they eventually reached a mutual understanding, leading to a more amicable working relationship. In her role as Lily Munster in The Munsters, Yvonne de Carlo playfully referenced the Donna Reed show by mimicking its opening credits. As Lily, she imitated Donna Reed's affectionate gesture of handing out lunches to departing family members, adding humor to the show's quirky narrative. Beyond television, de Carlo displayed her acting versatility on Broadway, playing the character Carlotta in the original cast of Sondheim's Follies. She introduced the poignant song, I'm Still Here in 1971, leaving a lasting impact on the theater scene. Her journey extended to diverse film roles, concluding with Aunt Rosa in Oscar, her final collaboration with a U.S. studio. In McClintock, she skillfully portrayed Louise Warren opposite John Wayne, challenging age expectations with a nuanced performance. The Ten Commandments showcased another interesting dynamic as she worked alongside Nina Fosh and subtly defied age conventions. Outside of her on-screen work, De Carlo formed lasting connections, as seen in her enduring friendship with Butch Patrick from the Munsters. This camaraderie went beyond the screen, highlighting the genuine bonds formed during collaborative projects. Linguistic versatility defined her acting career as she seamlessly adopted accents from Austrian to Arabic. This skill added depth to her characters, emphasizing her commitment to authenticity in portraying diverse backgrounds. In a revealing 1975 interview, De Carlo disclosed a surprising twist in her personal history. Contrary to public knowledge, her biological father was of Polynesian origin, shedding light on the complexities of her identity and family background. Yvonne De Carlo's career, marked by genuine connections, linguistic adaptability, and candid revelations, solidifies her place in the entertainment industry as a versatile and authentic performer. Yvonne De Carlo faced challenges in her personal life, particularly in her marriage to Bob Morgan, who battled alcoholism. This added complexity to her journey beyond the spotlight. In her youth, she drew inspiration from Fred Astaire and Ginger Rogers' films and admired Eleanor Powell and Ruby Keeler. These influences shaped her artistic sensibilities, contributing to the depth and flexibility seen in her later performances. Family played a crucial role in her life. She had two sons, Bruce and Michael, born in 1956 and 1957, respectively. Additionally, she became a stepmother to Bari, born on October 5, 1947. This family dynamic added a personal dimension to her life, coexisting with her thriving career. Yvonne de Carlos' ability to form lasting connections in the entertainment industry was evident in her close friendship with Butch Patrick during and after their time on the Munsters. This bond reflected the genuine camaraderie developed during their collaborative work on the show, transcending the confines of the screen. Her linguistic versatility, showcased through various accents in her roles, demonstrated a commitment to authenticity in portraying characters from different backgrounds. From Austrian to Arabic, she seamlessly adapted, adding depth to her performances and reinforcing her reputation as an adaptable actress. A surprising revelation emerged in a 1975 interview challenging public knowledge about de Carlos' biological father. Contrary to popular belief, her father had Polynesian roots, shedding light on the intricacies of her identity and family background. This candid disclosure highlighted her openness about personal matters, offering a glimpse into the complexities she faced. Yvonne de Carlo's career was not just about on-screen performances. It was about navigating both personal and professional realms with authenticity. The twists in her personal history, the enduring friendships formed, and her linguistic adaptability contribute to a nuanced understanding of her journey in the entertainment industry.